Hello and welcome back to the channel, to the videos. It's been a while, although I'm gonna put up two travel videos right before this, but overall it's still been a while and now we're back with Disney videos. Yes, we're going to Disney World in a week from right now. Yeah, a week from today, from right now, we will be on a plane to Disney World. So why do I look like this? Because it's Sunday. Sunday, a week before we go on the trip. And today, I said I'd pick up my camera so that I could share our packing rituals, packing plans, the way we go about packing really for any trip, but specifically we're going to Disney, so this is gonna be how we pack for Disney. Why is that interesting? Because um, I'm not a pack the night before person. I'm a pack slowly over time person. That comes from when I do pack at the last minute, I tend to take way too much stuff. I am, in a way, I am a classic over packer. So I find by pre-packing, practice packing, um, I end up taking much fewer things, a lot less stuff, which is good. I always, I'm one of those, you know, people who grabs the thing that I've never worn and chucks it in, they're like, I'll wear it on this holiday. You're not going to, you're gonna wear the same things that you wear all of the time, and I wear the same clothes all the time anyway, which I think is a normal thing. We all don't have endless wardrobes. I wear the same thing all the time. I'm rambling. The point is, today, we're gonna be packing. We're also doing some things around the house, so we're gonna do like, I just took a shower, hence the hair up. I'm gonna dye my hair today. We're gonna do some face masks, and we're going to start packing. The reason this is extra difficult is um, Tom and I, have, I'm gonna sit back down. We have full-time jobs, of course. Um, we've also had a really tough few weeks where we've both been traveling for work. So we've both been living out of suitcases quite a lot. So in addition to packing for the trip, we need to unpack and then repack those bags possibly and make sure we have everything out of those bags and in new bags. I'll just show you the room. So we've got my travel suitcase. This is the one that I've been using for two weeks of work travel, where I've been like going away, coming home, going away, coming home. Stuff in there, like you can see my nice work shoes in there. And then we've got bag here to take, bag behind all of the clothes that are drying to take. This is just a mess of things, mess of things of like Tom's clothes and stuff that we have for like the niece and the family and everyone. We're very tired. We've been traveling for work. We've both have had pretty gnarly colds last week. And then I just got a new tattoo yesterday, so I'm tired and sore and it hurts to walk. And so Tom's been running around the house up and down the stairs bringing me things. You see it's very swollen here, all still very swollen and sore. It's beautiful and it goes with this one. We're trying to tidy up the house a bit because it's also messy. Tom is going to run to the homeware store to pick up things so we can fix something in the house that needs to be fixed. He's gonna go get ibuprofen so I'm, I'm not in pain and then we have ibuprofen to take on the trip. And we're gonna pack and I'm gonna dye my hair and we're gonna do some face masks. And it's already one o'clock. So, ready set go. I'm gonna go dye my hair. No, I'm gonna go dry my hair. Gonna dye it later. And then I think I'm gonna sort through some of these things. So when Tom gets back from the store, we can start doing the thing. And I'll show you what it's like to pack for Disney World. Before the battery dies though, I'm gonna <coughs> talk through some of this stuff. Cleansing facial wipes, those go on the plane with us. So we can clean our faces on the plane. Um, some new Burt's Bees, ibuprofen. I'm gonna try these, everyone's into these hair ties, which are not focusing. I don't usually wear my hair up, but I thought, I'd only wear my hair up on days like today when we're doing stuff around the house. I don't know, it's worth a shot. Plus Tom has hair now, so. Tom got these for himself. Anyway, some congestion relief. I picked these up at Sainsbury's to go with my skeleton outfit, and that's I'm excited about. Some nail polish, gift cards, and a little bit of cash, literally $3. Our magic bands. Travel coffee thing. These I'm really excited about. These are our travel utensils, all bamboo. Got all of that. These we picked up at Superdrug, which will be terrifying but cute. 
some aloe vera sunscreen, one travel umbrella, then we have another one. Um, we just got these. We have two of these travel toothbrush holders. Tom finally picked up a travel container holder. And then we always go traveling. Anytime we go anywhere, we take Percy Pigs because I get a really tight jaw. You'll get really tired when you're out doing stuff. So I clench my jaw and like something to chew on. Um, and it's a really good pick-me-up because they're quite large. So you can have like one or two. Get a little sugar rush until you can get some food. So we bring those. And that is a start. Now we gotta go get other stuff. One eternity later. Hi, you've reached Kelly. I'm unable to come to the phone right now. I'm actually on holiday. So if this is in regards to... Please do leave a message or better yet, send me an email and I will get back to you as soon as I'm back from leave. Thanks so much and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. I've set my email responder to being away. I've set my phone message to I'm on holiday, please send me an email. And I am now setting myself to away on Slack. And I'll actually show you. That is my message on Slack. Everything is away. I'm turning off my computer. I'm turning it off. Turn shut down. I'm shutting down my computer, shut down. Continue shutting down. <laughs> shut down, shut down. There it is. It's shut down if the lights turn off. Shut down. Shut down, shut down. Spinning wheels, shut down, shut down. Shut down, done, it's done, I'm done. The holiday is now started. Granted, it's Friday and we don't leave until Sunday, but the holiday has started. I'm done, I'm done working, I'm done. I have two weeks off. Haven't had a week off since March. I have two weeks off and I might cry, might cry right now, might cry. Today was also a hard day. It's over. So, what's happening is, Friday today, we are traveling tonight to Wiltshire to drop off the dog with the in-laws. Then on Saturday, we are driving back, Sans dog, so he can stay with family. Driving back Saturday, finishing packing. We have all the rest of Saturday to pack up this mess of a room. Like we're mostly done packing, so now it's just like the little bits and pieces um, and like last bits of laundry, which I forgot to do laundry. Last bits of laundry to finish packing. Um, and then and also this mess of things. And then we'll have a chilled night Saturday and we fly out early on Sunday. Saturday, travel home. Sunday, got the flight. Ready, set, go. I am two days away from Disney World. Could not be more happy. Actually, could not be more blissfully happy. Go to cry. So here we go. Trip to Disney World. 2019. Gonna go to the Halloween party, gonna go to the Christmas party, and just gonna be on holiday for two weeks. I wanted to share some more packing things with you. So you saw a bit of our packing. Um, our process is that we do two sets of packing. What is actually gonna be three rounds of packing this time because of the way our time has worked out. And this is for every trip. Literally every trip, we, any trip, every trip we go on, we do three rounds of packing. Less so if I'm going on a work trip because I know exactly what needs to go in my bag and I'm like taking one outfit. But for any holiday, at least two rounds of packing but this time three. So what we do is we pre-pack. It's very simple. I think I said earlier, I have a tendency to take everything and that's completely unrealistic. I don't wear everything in my closet. I wear very few things. 
So if we do a pre-pack, basically what we do is get that practice of grabbing everything we have out of our system. We'll take turns, we'll do Tom and then we'll do me, we'll look at all of the clothes we have and all of the outfits and we'll be that practical bouncing off person for the other person so that we can look at the outfits and cut back what we really need to take. We have an added benefit of my parents live in Florida so we can do laundry when we're there if we need to. So really what we have are very few things. I mean, even if we didn't, if we weren't doing laundry, we're taking not that much stuff. Like it's a really normal sized suitcase of things. So what you've seen, I think is the first round of packing. And then what we did in the room was the second round of packing where normally we would have packed everything, but we were doing that in between other traveling that we were both doing for work. Both Tom and I have been traveling for work this month, which complicated things a bit and made us very tired. <laughs> Not able to do everything at the last minute either so normally we would have spent maybe this weekend doing all of our packing but we didn't want that added stress so i think last weekend we did that big round of packing where we actually got all of the clothes back out folded everything up properly so all we have left are toiletries and other bits and pieces that aren't packed what i wanted to do is share with you some of the things that i've gotten that are new for this trip this isn't what's in my park bag wanted to share some of the things that we've gotten recently that are new for this trip from clothing things to other items that are just um other items that are new for us that are going to change the way we travel so i've got a list and i'm going to go through all of these things so the first thing i have is i got a new set of pajamas from primark i've been looking at the primark pajamas for a long time trying to find something that was my style, my characters that I would want to wear, but then also literal style that would be comfortable for me. There's a lot of long sleeve stuff, lots and lots of cute pajamas with like glitter and things all over them. It's not for me, I wanted something simple and eventually found some. These are very classic Mickey and Friends tank top. So there is a tank top and there is Mickey printed shorts. Hmm, cute. I'm a little concerned about the tank top just because I don't normally wear tank tops to bed. They have a tendency to spin around. So if it really annoys me, I'll just wear a t-shirt to bed because I've got really soft, great Uniqlo t-shirts that I do like wearing to sleep. But also there's a Uniqlo store, so I'll go to Uniqlo and buy more shirts. I know I will, so I can have those. But it is Florida, it is hot. A nice tank top with classic characters and some little gold Mickeys. I'm a big fan of this, very looking forward to wearing it. The real reason I got the outfit though, because it is an outfit, almost everything in the pajamas section comes with tops and bottoms, which sucks because a lot of times they're really nice t-shirts and then terrible pajama bottoms that I don't want and I don't want to spend the money on them and I don't want to just... We found some cute shorts. These are nice elastic shorts. Something that I don't like is actually drawstring. I think that they're really uncomfortable. I don't enjoy it. Uh, but this is actually a fake drawstring. This is completely elastic and the drawstring is literally through that loop right there and that's it. So just some classic little Mickey print faces. Mickey faces printed on shorts. Very simple, very comfortable. And those are going to be my pajamas. Something else I purchased clothing wise from Primark too. I was going to wear this as a pajama t-shirt, but then I wore it as a t-shirt and I liked it a lot. Could be both. I'm not, I'm not weird. It could be both. It's just a Mickey Mouse t-shirt. It's just Mickey Mouse looking all cute and fun. Black shirt. I wear black constantly, but this with like my red skirt or my silver skirt, very cute and who doesn't love a comfortable little t-shirt i mean it wasn't it wasn't in the pajama top section let me rephrase that this was a shirt that was in the regular shirts section it wasn't a pajama top i bought it from the shirts section because like i said not so sure about the spaghetti strap thing but then it was just too cute of a shirt to be hidden to the bed so i'm gonna wear it regularly another piece of clothing that i got i've seen this for many many moons many months in h m and I always thought, that's really cute, don't need it. It's really simple, it's really cute, like it a lot. But will I wear it? Don't need it. And then we went and Tom was like, I think you need it. So we tried on a couple different styles and I was like, this is it. And it's, it's just a Mickey Mouse silhouette 
sweater. Not even a hoodie. Like, it doesn't have a hood. And I love a hood, but it's just a simple sweater. Again, looks great with a skirt. Underneath my jackets, this is velvet and is really soft. I mean, it gets cool at night in Florida, so I might pop it on. I've been wearing it around here, like the UK, or to work and stuff. Really comfortable sweater, especially uh, when we were traveling. So I wore it while I was traveling for work things, and it was a great thing to be wearing on the train. Warm and cute. And cozy. Now I think the last bit of clothing that I have that is new that I did buy specifically for Disney. I also needed them in general, but bought them specifically for the Disney trip. And they don't have laces in right now because I'm washing the lace laces. But I bought new Nikes. Look at these. Air Max Nikes. Holographic thing paneling on the side. Holographic paneling on the back. Trying to keep them as white as possible. They need a bit of a cleanup but bought these for the trip. I needed new Nikes, my Nikes were busted. I needed new sneakers. These should be really comfortable. Lots of cushion in the bottom, support, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but these are my new Nikes for the trip. And Tom's on his way home, so I should be making dinner, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna keep talking. I may have mentioned this earlier, or just in a different video, um, we, Recently, as in this time last year, we went to Disneyland Paris with my brother, sister-in-law, and niece. Met up with them in Disneyland Paris um, and did a long weekend in DLP. What we did on that trip, though, for the first time ever, was we traveled with a bag of Percy Pigs. Which looked like this. And there were, they were one of the few that did a vegetarian version. So this is the original veggie Percy Pig. All Percy Pigs are now veggie. But they're really large pig-shaped gummies. And they're quite hard, like quite firm. And I clench my jaw a lot. I just do. So having gummies with me when I travel especially is really helpful. I usually, I almost exclusively, like every trip, I always take gummy bears, but I've been finding them really, really sweet and making me feel a little bit sick when I eat too many. Plus, they're really small, so it's easy to eat a lot of them. One Percy Pig is quite big. I mean, that's a, that's a large thing. So the other thing we found when we were in Disneyland Paris is that we were with my niece, who was f five at the time, and we could give her a... Percy Pig while we were in line, and it was just a little bit of sugar, a little bit sweet. You could have one and feel sustained for a while. So now, we always travel everywhere we go with Percy Pigs. The thing we also got, though, is they had Halloween versions. So we got Percy Pig Get Spooky. The other thing we got is not Percy Pigs. These are actually Colin Caterpillars, but they're Halloween Colin Caterpillars. Spooky Fruit Flavor Gums. Calling Caterpillars are another one which have the veggie version, and are these ones veggie? Oh no. Yep, suitable for vegetarians. Two Halloween gummies, and then two regular Percy Pigs. Now this next thing is something that is going to completely change the way we travel, especially the way we travel to Disney World. Now Disney has been great, quite recently, about taking steps towards reducing their waste. No plastic straws, there's a lot of bamboo cutlery, cutlery around. And we wanted to do what we could, both on this trip and in general in life, do our part. So we bought some bamboo cutlery. A friend of mine owns a shop that specializes in low waste home goods, personal goods. I'll leave a link to her shop below, it's called Worthwhile. And one of the things she sells are these Leave No Trace Travel Cutlery Wraps. I think you could also get it on their website, but got it from a friend. So if I just open it up, so it's got a little tie that goes all the way around and then if you open it up, it is a cloth carrier case for a straw. So I've got a bamboo straw, a spoon, a fork, a knife, chopsticks, which I find to be a really nice touch, and then a little cloth napkin. So now we have everything we need. We shouldn't really need uh, to be wasteful. And we can wash the bag, we can wash the napkin, and we've got all of the cutlery we need. Obviously we can wash the cutlery in a sink. But we've got everything we need, and it'll fit quite nicely, easily, in our backpacks. Even my small backpack should fit fine. So these are new for our family, and I'm quite excited to have them with us in Disney. That'd be great! One other thing that we got from Primark, now we got a lot of things for my niece from Primark. 
because why not? It's darn cute. The one thing I will show you is pretty great. <laughs> She's gonna flip for it, like many five-year-old girls. She loves unicorns. And Primark had a unicorn mini backpack. This was like 10 quid. I mean, come on. I also, so if you've seen, you'll see it in other videos, I have a black backpack with mini ears and a gold bow. There's no unicorn. Mini ears, gold bow. Which I also got from the kids section of Primark, and it's this size. This might actually be a bit big for her because she is quite small. But she's going to flip her lid, and then it's got this cute little Minnie Mouse keychain backpack. We filled it with treats and more clothes and toys and everything. But something else to keep an eye on at Primark. Unicorn mini backpack. Um, we also bought Halloween costumes. Tom has a full costume, and I bought one item of clothing to go with other pieces of clothing I already have. I was going to show it, but now I don't want to. I want to show you later, so you'll have to stay tuned until we go to Mickey's Not So Scary to see our Halloween costumes. So the last thing I'm going to leave you with is, I say leave you with, there's probably going to be another segment here of us actually packing. Last segment I'm going to leave you with for right now. I bought something I never purchased for myself is magazines, right? It feels a little outdated, but then I was surrounded by quite a few people who liked magazines and we're not talking about like us weekly or in touch I, I don't know any other magazine vogue 17 not those kind of magazines um we have one if not two so we have a couple of stores in brighton we're quite lucky we have a couple of stores in brighton that sell quality magazines like cool magazines that i'd never seen before so a few weeks ago we had gotten some haircuts so we found another magazine shop and we went in Tom picked out a magazine or two, and I also picked out one magazine. Rewind to say we were at the grocery store before that, and I was like, oh, I kind of want a magazine. Would love to sit on a plane. Feels a bit lush to like, flip through a magazine on a plane. Would love to get a magazine. So I looked through all of the options at Waitrose, and I picked up this Breathe and Make Time for Yourself Breathe magazine. Um, I expect that it's going to have a lot of really obvious, things in here but I was interested to see if the articles would be nice it's all about well-being mindfulness creativity and escaping and I just thought that it would be a nice calm read on the plane and maybe give me some ideas to implement into life beat the scammers how to avoid being scammed I mean I don't get scammed so that's one where I don't really want to read that um, some food recipes what can do to help there are two sets of contact techniques verbal and nonverbal Let's really talk. I'm just really interested to see what it has because I have stress um, and I carry a lot of stress with me. So it'd be nice to find some creative, mindful ways to improve. So I thought that one would be nice. And then when we went into that magazine shop, Tom was looking at lots of magazines and I thought, I have no idea what is even out here anymore. No idea what to look for. But I found one called Rucksack Magazine. I think I've seen this before in another shop and other ones like it and they're travel specific magazines. Just really nicely done. Lots of great photographs. Great photographs. Let's find a content heavy page. Nope, lots of photographs. Come on. Where's my content? There we go. Some content. And like any magazine, there's contributors that contribute their travels to the magazine. I'm quite excited to look through this and read some really interesting looking content. I would like to get back into writing, content writing for my own personal benefit. And I think it would be really cool if I could find magazines like this, if not this one, then other magazines like this, then I could write some content about our travels and submit it somewhere because there's just something about writing for yourself and submitting it. Like I used to write for a magazine don't know if you guys know this, I used to write for a national music publication. I also used to write for a local magazine. Um, and it was really, it was really satisfying to see my name in print. It was. I felt accomplished when I wrote articles. Everything from big interviews with big music companies to artist interviews to literally just writing CD reviews. It felt really accomplishing to pick up a printed material and see my name and 
hold the thing that I had accomplished. And so much of my stuff happens digitally. I just think it would be really nice to turn my travels into more content in a written form than I could share with a new audience somewhere like this. Creatively charging to read these articles. So that's what I've got. I've got two books, one on mindfulness, one on travel. Hopefully to get my creativity flowing again. I mean, I am going to Disney, so that's gonna happen. But anything we can do to drive that it's great. That's all I've got for you right now. So I will be back tomorrow to show you how much we're packing because it looks like a big mess behind me and I was a little bit stressed, but honestly, there's not that much. So we'll be back tomorrow to show you more of our packing. Until then, see ya.